Hayoi. How's it going? I hope you're doing good. As you can notice, my, my surrounding is a little bit different, isn't it? It's not the usual place. Uh, the reason is, is uh, I'm actually in my parents' house and I'm going to be staying here for a little bit. Um, my mother recently had to be in the hospital and uh, she came back. Everything is good, but she needs a lot of my help. So I'm going to actually be staying here for at least a week or so. So, being that as it may, this is a, a new setting for me. It's interesting. Uh, but regardless of that, um, with some of the things that I'm going, I, I kind of wanted to share with you. And um, I wanted to do today's devotion like that. Um, make sure you guys are still doing your devotions day to day. I know some of you guys are doing it. I'm so proud of you. As you guys are doing it, as you make it a habit, man, the Word of God is only going to be so much strength to you. For those of you who are not, um, do it. You know, I know it's going to benefit you so much. You got to do it. Um, as you do, if you love God, you love his words. If you love his words, then your life will change. Do you want a change for the better in your life? Easy. Do it. It's crazy how much it can change your life. Well, today, let's get into God's word. And uh, before that, let's pray. Father, I ask your word as it has life and as it brings hope in the most hopeless of places as you give strength in the most strengthless of places i pray god that it will really give us strength in jesus name amen so some of you guys actually know my mother has been sick for quite some time and it's been a rough journey um recently a student of mine also said hey someone in my family is also sick someone in my family is going through this kind of a, a thing in the hospital man like, for those of you guys who know, you know, it's really hard and tiresome and, and a lot of stress to the family. And, you know, some of you guys might be handling, you know, different things inside of your life. Like, these things might be a family member who is sick or it might be a family member who might go through financial issues or family members who might go through a lot of, I don't know, you fill in the blank. None is greater, none is less. We all have some different things in our lives. And as we all have different things, different issues in our lives, uh, we really need to find strength in the Lord. And for me, this is a passage that I've been really, uh, every time I go through a lot of hard times, I remind myself, I read through this passage. And I want to share this to you in light of, you know, if any of you guys go through something, let this word give you strength. It's in the book of Isaiah. In Isaiah chapter 40, we're going to read from 27 to 31. In verse 27, it says this, O Jacob, how can you say the Lord does not see your troubles? O Israel, how can you say God ignores your rights? Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. Let's stop there really quickly. This passage here really puts us into perspective who really God is. God, you think he doesn't know your problems, the things that you're going through, this passage says? What are you talking about? Remember, he is the creator of the earth. He knows all things. He, is, he never grows weak. He's never weary. The depths of his understanding, it's, you can't measure it. Think about this. I, I, I say this quite time to time. Can you try to teach an infant child who can't even speak yet, communicate through words, calculus? Can you? No. Even algebra? No. It's, it's impossible. How can you compare your understanding with God's understanding, who, who put the stars in their place, who knows everything by name, at this very given moment, he knows how many grain of sand is there in the entire world. Man, that's a trippy thing. He even knows, like, salt. Like, how many grains of salt there is just in Los Angeles, California, United States, and the world all... He knows all things. Do you really think God doesn't know that you're going through problems? Well, that's what this passage is saying. Of course God knows. Let's move on. It says in verse 29, it says this. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths become tired and weak, weak and tired, and young men will fall in exhaustion. 
but those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. This passage is saying, dude, like, you think you can do it by your own strength? Um, it gives comparison with the person of their youth. What is youth? Well, your youth. You in junior high, your youth. Or a person in their 18, 20s, like there are people in their youth. One of the things that there you can see that there's common amongst all the people who are youth, well, they have a lot of strength. And even though that they have a lot of strength, like they try to do things on their own, you got to understand something. You're so limited. Let's say you like basketball. Let's say you like to run. Let's say you like physical activities. Well, how about if you have a cold? Are you willing to still do it? It's hard, isn't it? Even if you're like pushing and lifting weights and stuff like that. Let's say if you have a fever. Are you still the same self? No, you're a shell of your former self. Why? Because you are limited. I am limited. And this passage is saying, hey, look, youth, they might run and they're going to get weary. They're going to get tired. But our God gives strength. Our God gives you courage. Our God will put on you wings like eagles so that you would soar, that you will run, not grow weary. You will walk and you'll not faint. God is this God who gives you strength. You know, yesterday I took my mother to the hospital and she had to go through a, a chemotherapy. What that is, is when you have cancer, you have to go through chemotherapy. It's a very painful process. Um, I felt so helpless as a son, as a guy, as a man. Like, if it was money, I would make the money and I would make, I would wish I can get it, make it go away. If it was something that I can study or do with my own actions, I'll do it, whatever it takes. This is my mom. But I realized I can't. I'm at the mercy of God. But in, there's beauty in that. God loves my mom. God loves me. More than I could ever. More than anybody can ever. With that being said, being in his hands is the best thing in the world. Highway, whatever problem you're going through, he's there. To help you. Love you guys. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye. Well, actually, let's pray. Father, is Highway going through anything right now that's really hard? Pray that you will give them strength, that this passage will give them strength and hope, knowing that you are in control. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys.